somebody yelled like fight and people start throwing food. It was like a movie. Yeah, it does happen. It totally happens. People yeah. throw food at each other. You're listening to Small Talk Kagoshima, the best English podcast discussing everything you love about Japan. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Small Talk Kagoshima. On this podcast, we talk about all things Japan and Kagoshima, but in English. My name is Mitch, and these are my co hosts Natsuki and Hato. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Hi, Hato. I'm okay. How are you guys? Man, it's a weird weather world right now. How's everyone in the world? Getting so warm. What's in the up, world? everybody in the world? How's everybody? There's actually a topic to talk about. It's warm. It's weather warm. right now. This weather, the this year's weather is very weird. This we- year, the weather is very weird. And it's weird because you know, like in January, it was warm. Warm. It's like we were. I was walking outside. Josh, you were in a t-shirt or something in January, weren't you? Yeah, I mean that's kind of normal for me though. It's weird. Hey, I remember one day I was wearing a t-shirt and Josh was wearing like a sweater. I was like, "What happened?" I think that day I left my house really, really early, and it was like kind of cold, and then it got like really hot. Yeah. Have you guys ever like gotten on a plane wearing like the wrong clothes for the destination? Yeah, when I went to Guam. That that happened. Wait, when you went to Guam, it was winter here in Kagoshima. Mm-hmm. What was the weather like in Guam? Summer. It was just summer. Yeah. So did you like get off with like a like a winter coat and a sweater? Yes. I mean, you know, I didn't bring a lot of winter clothes. I tried to wear like you know double t-shirts with long sleeve t-shirts. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. And then I alive. I mean arrived. Survived. I survived from the winter here in Japan to escape to Guam, summer land. So when you get off the plane, it was just summer. Summer. That's the weirdest thing in the world, isn't it? When you like, you leave somewhere and it's one temperature, one season, you go to another place in a plane. Yeah. It's completely different. Uh-huh. That's, uh huh. Oh, That's, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. It's okay. Go ahead. No, what were you going to say there, sir? I think going from cold to hot. It's still kind of okay. okay, but coming from hot to cold, and if you don't have anything to wear, then that's like the worst. Natsuki, you climbed Mount Fuji once. I did. You did it. We can only climb Mount Fuji in the summer, right? Yeah. So what was the weather like at the top of Mount Fuji when you got there? I'm very cold. Like how cold? Like minus? No, it's not. I, I don't know that, you know, little temperature, but I wear a lot of big jacket. Yeah. And, you know, like robes and ear muffs ha, muffs you were you had to wear earmuffs that's that cold i yes. exaggerated actually you know my image of cold place Liar. <laughs> <laughs> Nasuki, is anything about you real is it any of it true <laughs> but you you did climb to the top right i did climb the top you went with your husband and no, your no, brother no, 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 no. i went to climb mountain just me and my brother oh just you and your brother you two yeah. two brothers two brothers now tell us about climbing up to i mean like because it's summer yeah so in tokyo it's obviously really hot uh-huh and then as you're going up the mountain it starts it starts getting colder yes very cold like, well, like at, at what cold. point can't remember like eight, how do you say that eight point it's the point eight, eight it's the eighth like 80 uh, percent no yeah but there's a word for it uh ch- peak? check checkpoint or something there's a word for this mm. k2 the two yeah what's it called waypoint anyway are you interested in you know climbing Mount Fuji? Yes, I am. Before it, we, we while we still can. Yeah. And it, it, you said to me, but like I wanted to climb it, and then you said to me it sucked, and then it made me not want to do it. I just, did I say that? Yeah. Do you remember anything you said? You said, what did you say? It was a lot harder than you thought it was going to be, and that like ikkai de yokata. Ah, yeah. One time is yeah, enough. Yeah, one time is enough, but it was still fun, you know, because I had a very hard time climbing the mountain but it was still fun did you take a bus to the yeah i did yeah like middle checkpoint yeah. or whatever it's called mm-hmm. and then walk yeah right so then when you got off the bus it was kind of cold 
لا واز حياته يا هاف يو ايفر نيفر كلايم ذا بيج ماونتن نوب نو ايفو ان كاغوشيما اه يا ان كيريشيما اي فورغوت ذا نيم نان توكا نو مين اه كايمون دا نو 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 ذا كوريان كوريان ون يا ات واز ذا كوريان ون كوريان نيم If you give me a second, I can find it. Uh, no, Takachi Ho. Takachi Ho. No. Does it have the sword of God on the top of it? No. Korean? Karakuni. 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 That's a big factor in how fun it is. Yeah, I went with Josh and also two other people, Dan and CW. So, anyway, so two experienced uh, mountain climbers and two inexperienced. Well, maybe you were experienced. I don't know. Josh. Not really. I was a very casual mountain climber in Hawaii. Yeah. Freaking casual. So we got super wasted the night before we as woke up. As you do. As you do. Yeah. And then... That was pretty. That was pretty yeah. wild. <laughs> we were playing drinking games. Wait, did Ooh. you did you oh climb up the mountain dr- hungover? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, that sounds so horrible. They were really fast, and they didn't even wait for us. No, they were like, "Come on, let's keep going, keep going." I so, was like, "I need to sit I don't, down." I don't want to pick on Dan, but he's got a bad habit of when he goes on a hike with people. Like his goal is not to enjoy the hike with everybody. It's like I'm going to get to the top as fast as I can, so I can tell everybody how fast I got uh, to the top. It's like a race. Yeah, but that everybody else is not participating in his race. <gasps> so he's just like, it's no. There's no reason to go with him to a mountain. Just. Just let him go by himself so he can race by himself. Hey. He'll be happy that way. You anyway. Know, you know, there's a lot of national park in California. So while you were living in California, did you go to... Big Bear. Big Bear? There's a place in... Anyway. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, I was, in, I was a teenager. I don't think I was interested in... I went climbing up all sorts of mountains when I was a teenager. Well, I wasn't. Mount interested. Charleston, Red Rock, all these places, man. Like you know, Japanese schools take you know to the mountain as a you know field trip. Yeah, and then you know American schools don't. Yeah, they do. Uh, not not like Jap- Japanese schools. Like there's a school here in Kagoshima that takes the kids to Kaimon Mount Kaimon. Mm-hmm. That's a dangerous hike. Yeah, and I can't believe that there's all these elementary school kids that do that every year. Right, right, right. I remember the once we, you know, climbed the Mount, uh, I mean, Karakuni Dake or something. Ka- ma- uh, Mount Kaimon Dake. Kaimon Dake. Uh, anyway, you know, a big giant rock rolling from the top of the mountain, and then one of our teacher was, you know, former rugby player, and then he saved us. He Whoa. stopped the rock. Right. Really? He stopped us. Wow. And then, you it, know, was I, this an Indiana Jones movie or was this like <laughs> your, what was this? Because yeah. we've established today that you're a liar. Yeah. I mean, I mean, this is a real story. And then he, I, I can mention his name actually. What's his name? Drop it. Drop his last name. Go. O- Mr. O- Mr. Ochi. Ochi. Uh, he, yeah. His name is Mr. Ochi. He, yeah. Mr. Ochi saved Mr. you from the falling yes, rock. Yes, he did. Say that again. Mr. Yeah. Ochi. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for saving us. Seriously, he stopped the rock. And then after a while, we, you know, come back from the unifield field trip. He needs to wear the neck, or neck, neck something. Neck, neck brace. brace. Neck, neck brace. Neck brace. Neck brace. Neck brace. Yeah. This is a true story. Wow. His name is Ochi? Yeah, Mr. Ochi. How, he, that's his last how name. How do you say to drop or to fall in Japanese? Ochiru. <laughs> 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 this sounds like a lie to me yeah no no it's not right you know probably you know you know listener somebody is surprising that i know mr ochi mr ochi if you're out there i want you to call into this show yeah, so please. we could talk about how you saved yeah. the kids superman style mm-hmm. are you serious he actually really did that yeah he did that's really cool mm. that's actually kind of cool anyway how do we get we're talking about how it's warm not about mountain climbing right now now listen Let's talk about cherry, cherry blossoms. This year, cherry blossoms are like blossoming already in like February. When we went to, what was that park? Uh, Iwaya uh, Koen? Yeah, yeah. Was mm-hmm. that cherry blossom or was that plum? Yeah, that was cherry, I, yeah, right? Yeah, I believe that's the plum. Yeah, I think it was cherry blossom. And I saw the news about, you know, when the cherry blossom is blooming. And then, you know, the news said April something. 
April 8 or something. I never believe that. I don't believe it. Really? It's just bull. I don't believe it. But I went to Yoshino Park like uh, at the start of February and there were cherry blossom. Right. No. Right. Yeah. But I don't, I don't, I'm not like professional enough to know the difference between a, ch- a cherry blossom yeah, there, and a there, blossom. Yeah, there are many kinds of cherry blossom, I think. You know, and then around the like, you know, Kotsky River, they bloom like April, maybe. Don't you think? Yeah, you keep asking me this, but I don't know. I mean, last year it was on my birthday, so it was March 30th. So, were there any cherry blossom? At yeah, the time? There, were, there were tons. Really? Actually, I don't remember. I was really drunk. No, there weren't very many. Yeah, I remember that you were so wasted last time we, we went to the park. Yeah, didn't, did you, don't you remember yeah. what you did? Like, so, this reminds me of a news story <laughs> that I want to get to. Have you guys, speaking of cherry blossoms, have you guys ever had a bento under cherry blossoms before? Yeah, I have. Did you ever do it by yourself? Yeah. Hayato? By accident. Not an accident. What? what How do you, do you mean, accidentally I, have a bento by yourself <laughs> under cherry blossoms? Mas- no, no. What I mean is, is like... That could happen, right? I mean, you were outside. I mean, yeah, it could possibly happen. It's but like you were eating bento outside and then you looked up. Oh, I was like, oh my goodness. There was, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> what like, are you talking about? <laughs> isn't that what you guys are talking about? Like you're eating bento under cherry blossom. No? Yes, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. How do you do it by accident? I'm just saying, oh, I didn't know I was under a cherry blossom. It, it's usually more than one. It's well, usually a why, lot. Why are you drunk? No. I was on my birthday. Oh. <laughs> uh, Natsuki, when when was the last time that you had like a bento under cherry blossoms? A uh, your birthday party last time. <laughs> I mean, last year. So I told you there were cherry blossoms. There are a couple. There's some. There were some. Although I just don't really remember much for that. Yeah, party. I mean, you know, you keep saying the edami, edami. So I thought, you know, there were no cherry blossoms. Edami was the the eda means branch. Mm-hmm. Me is like to look. Mm-hmm. And in Japan, they usually have like hanami, which is a look at the cherry blossoms. And I was making the joke edami, edami, like look at the branches. That was the year before. Really? Yeah, that wasn't my birthday because I don't remember my birthday. Okay. Because I was drunk. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so Josh, have you ever had a bento under the cherry blossoms before? When I went to Yoshino Park. Like February, In the start of February, I you made went, you, sandwiches. You went there with your girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> and so you you guys had sandwiches under the cherry blossoms. Yeah, that's oh, kind of cool. Like, yeah, it was that's fun. Pretty date. That's pretty cool. Mm. Uh, anyway, this reminds me of a news topic, guys. So, have you guys seen this? It's a personal rice cooker uh, for your bento. So you can eat like you know. Freshly, cr- freshly cooked rice. Freshly cooked rice. That's what I wanted to say. This is from Sora News 24. I love them. Okay. It says Japan's one person bento box size rice cooker can give you freshly cooked rice at the office. Look at this. Isn't that cool? How do you do wow. that? Like you plug into the, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just like put everything in the little tray in the water and you press it and it's like done in 19 minutes. Uh, that's wow. funny. I actually think it's faster if you do a small one. It's like just a few minutes. It's crazy. Isn't it annoying that, you know, like during the classroom or during the we are working, you know, it starts cooking and, you know, starts smelling right, smelling or rice cooking. No, because then it makes you like, oh, I want food. And then, like, it's, like, lunchtime. You're like, oh, I got fresh rice. And then you just open up your bento that's next to it. You got all of your ingredients. Are you interested? I mean, that sounds cool. How much is that? Doesn't say. Is it on sale right now? I mean, I mean, oh, is it yeah. in store? Yeah. Somewhere. I don't know where. Yeah, I'll, I'll, We can find it, the link. Later. Anyway. It says oh, that it says, it's 7,000 yen. Yeah, it's 7,000 yen. 7,000 yen. That's not that expensive than I expected. Look, you can put you can put curry in it. Uh, and make curry rice at work. No. He just said no. Yeah. <laughs> He's like yeah. flat right rejected no, 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 the no, no, concept. Go to Kokoichi. No, no. Go to Kokoichi. No, 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 that's fine. But you can't. You, that's not cooked. Come on. That's like they, separate, they didn't cook right? That yeah, come on. That's separate. Put it on come on, come on. I just like how he said no. <laughs> yeah. No, but the point here is that you can make fresh rice at work. That's cool. That's cool. USB? No, I don't think USB gives it enough juice. Oh, yeah. That's it needs true. to be more electricity. That's cool. Though. Yeah, it's not USB. Okay. It's called the Thinko. Thanko. 
Thanko. I don't know why. Thanko. Or Thanko. Thank. That's cool. Right? See, oh, they got a lot of good stuff here. No one I mean, said. Technology. No one said. Not on this show, anyway. That no, that Japan had bad technology. It's good technology here. Natsuki, would you buy a one-person bento uh, rice cooker? Would you? I, I could. Okay. Would you buy mm-hmm. a one-person rice cooker? I like won't. This? I wouldn't. You wouldn't. Why? Because I don't have to be- eat, you know, fresh rice at the, you know, work. But or- you know what I mean? Like you get, you open up your bento box and like you eat. It, you can you can microwave it, but it's still the rice is just kind of not good. Yeah, it's not as good as fresh rice. But if you go to bento store, there you know rice is like you know fresh rest, don't you think? I mean, it's fresher than cooking it the day before at home or something. But I don't know how do you does your do you make bento box? Do your do your wife make you lunch? How wife, does, wife makes what? Does she make good bento box? Yeah. Yeah, very good. But uh, I'm I'm actually not with microwaving. I don't really like microwave stuff. So I do like I do, I like that. I like fresh. So do you pay seven thousand yen buying it? I wouldn't buy it, but it sounds. If, if cool. somebody gave it to you, would you use it? I'll probably yeah. I would you use you it. will probably use it for like three times, and you could. Yeah, but it's hard to carry. No, you're supposed to leave it at the office. Ah, you leave it at the office. But uh, oh. what do you do about like the the rice and water? You wash it at work, then. That's so so weird. what you do? Yeah, you put the rice and the water in it. You swirl it around, wash it, and then drain it. And then you put the water in it and set it. And then. Beep. I feel like at a normal Japanese company, people would be like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. If you have time. But, yeah, that will happen. So one of our mutual friends used to be uh, a staff at my Aikawa school and she used to make like, she used to microwave her bentos and like she would bring like fish bentos <laughs> and stuff. And in like, I, I I don't know about Japanese companies, but in American companies, like smelly foods, you don't microwave at work. It's like mm. big out. Mm. But like, is that cool in Japan? It's like, okay. It's like, okay. Yeah. It's like, okay. Yeah, because I've done that before. Oh, wait. So you say it's okay for you? Yeah. And I have seen that somebody has done that before. But what's the etiquette on it? I mean, like, is it okay? Etiquette? Etiquette. 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 Like, mana. What's the rules etiquette. on it? Uh, edi- etiquette. 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 Mm. Oh, we see. Um, etiquette. Um, 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 etiquette. What? You, uh, mm, yeah, smelly food is not good, maybe. So, like, I mean, that's not just for Japanese food, like, you know. Natto. Not, dude, my little brother Tyler, he microwaved natto once. Ooh, did he? And I was How like. The, the, what happened? Well, the microwave forever smelled like natto when uh, you used it. How would you, you know, clean your microwave when you, you know, microwave the smelly things? Nah. <laughs> Actually, I um I had uh cream cheese explode in my microwave and I had ah, to clean it. I was there. I, had to I clean hear it. the sound like yeah. boom. Yeah, I had to clean it and it took me like 3 or 4 days to take my microwave apart into mm-hmm. little pieces and clean it. It took forever. I don't recommend that. Anyway, it takes about how many 19 minutes to cook the rice? We're back to the rice cooker, dude. We're still talking we're talking about other stuff right now. Listen. Uh, mic- do you ever microwave smelly foods at work, Hayato? Huh? Do you ever microwave smelly foods? Uh, I see. I, I, yeah, but I, I don't, I don't eat it. I try to eat it outside. I like to eat outside. But That's at the same true. Time. Like That's picnic, true. like picnic. No, I, it's just the, uh, what do you call it? The balcony. We have uh, a balcony in the back. But it's true. Hayato does actually go out in the balcony and eat out there. What do you eat time. every day for lunch? Bento. I I just make bento yes. for you. Yes. Nice yes. wife. Okay, so if you're not gonna do the 19 minute personal rice cooker, let me ask you this question: Do you guys make rice at home in a rice cooker? I do. Do you? If you make too much rice, do you freeze it? Yeah, I do. What do you guys? You don't like to microwave things, but you freeze rice. If if we have too much, yeah. Then you microwave it to use it later. Yeah, and that's okay. Well, I mean, well, I have no choice. I mean, your wife does it. Yeah, she freezes it. Uh-huh. What do you think? How how do you guys feel about frozen rice? 
It's good. It's actually, you know, much good. Uh, I mean, better than the, like, you know, if you cook the rice and then freeze it right after we cook it, and, you know, mo- those, like, steams go inside the, you know, rice. And the moisture. Wa- moisture. Mm. Moisture. And then when we microwave it, it's like a brand new rice. I actually agree with you. I think frozen rice is great. Mm-hmm. It's better than instant rice. Have you guys ever had the instant rice like packet? Yeah, I do. It's okay, but it's not. I don't think it's healthy. Yeah, it smells a little bit, isn't it? Chemical smell. Yeah, chemical smell. Yeah, I don't like to microwave plastic. Mm, yeah. Josh, do you ever freeze rice? I never cook rice. I don't have a rice cooker. Mm, really? So how do you eat sushi? Do you make sushi at home? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> BS. No, you don't. You, you don't ever. You don't ever cook rice ever. I don't have a rice cooker. You can still cook rice. Yeah, uh, with no. pot. No, Dude, I that don't. that thing's for you, the rice cooker. My birthday is July twenty third. Do right. you want a personal rice cooker? I would like a normal size one. I have one that I never use. I think I used it three years ago. It sits there and tells me to plug it in because the battery's dying. I'll take it. He's planning to make a family. Don't say that. <laughs> hmm. Do you guys? If, I, if I'm gonna make a family, yeah, yeah. I need a rice. That's the one first. thing that's stopping me. <laughs> if I had a rice cooker, but dang, dude. Okay, my family when I was a kid had a national. Now it's called Panasonic, but national rice cooker that was like this big. How big is that for the audio listeners? It is as big as I this. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a giant bowl that you'd put popcorn into size mm. uh, for a rice cooker. For well, how many people in the family? Uh, for it's like it serves like twelve people. Twelve people. Yeah, and it's like one of those gyomuyo, right? Like oh. one of those. No, it's just it kind of it was like the for restaurants, but it was just yeah, a yeah, giant like national giant giant rice cooker. No, in like yeah, I can't imagine. It's like a Showa style rice cooker. Hmm. It was crazy. And then like when I came to Japan, I thought everybody had one of those, but they you guys all have like tiny little ones. Yeah. And I'm like, what is this crap? So d- did your mom cook like a kilo of rice at a time? Um big family. My mom, you mean me? Yeah, I cooked a lot of rice at one time for the family cuz I had a giant family. We had we had seven boys. How can you make 12? Because seven boys and mom and dad, it only no, makes we, like we, nine. We ate it for, you know, like all day. Oh, I see. So it was, it was really good. Yeah, but it like, it didn't, ha- it wasn't fancy. It didn't have like a timer or like a, this kind of lid. It was mm-hmm. just like a, this kind of lid. Mm, I see. And it was really simple, but it was mm. great. It was really, really big. I had a rice cooker in Tokyo and I like to use it for non-rice Cooking ve- vegetables and curry and stuff. I used to make a cheesecake all the time in my rice cooker. Ah. And, and chili, ever- and American mm. style chili. Have you guys ever tried that? No, but I can imagine how, what it looks like. Hayato. Yeah. Do you ever cook using a rice? Oh, this is it. Like this one. Not like this one. Like, oh, so Showa style. So Showa style. Uh, Natsuki, in your old house, when you were when you were a kid, did you have a giant rice cooker? Yeah, yeah, like you know, like all this memory I have, I had a big you know rice cooker at my house. Yeah, I think and back it's getting then, you know smaller and smaller every yeah, you know back then, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, now you can like set it to like fast mode or whatever, but back then it was just like the one switch. You press it down. Yeah, and, and it turns the light red. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, you don't even know when it's done because there's no timer and there's no, like, do 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 anything. It's just, like, dum, yeah. and it stops. And that was a long time ago. Do you guys care where you buy your rice from? Yes, I do. Okay. What kind of rice do you get, Natsuki? Like, you know, we are in Kagoshima, and then I think Isa rice is very tasty. Isa and Okuchi. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They got great rice out there. Josh had some, uh, what do you call it, uh, Shinmai from Okuchi just uh, six months ago. Do you remember that? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Hayato? Do you care <laughs> Why where, are you laughing, huh? Do you care oh, where sorry. you get your, your uh, rice from? Uh, well, we get rice from my relatives who make rice. Oh, so you get like really fresh rice. Yes, and free. Well, that's good. Don't you want to make rice field in front of your house? No, because, you know, it's really hard to make rice 
All right. This week we have a, a question. It's along the lines of everything that we're talking about right now. And it's from a guy named Ryosuke. Mm. Not Ryosuke. Ryosuke. Okay. He says, what's the difference between Japanese work school lunches and those from other countries? And actually, for this one, I researched. Okay. Did you? Josh, if you want to click that little button right there, the Huffington Post, school lunches from around the world. So let's talk about this. First of all, <clears throat> before you scroll before you scroll down, uh, I want to talk about what you guys, your image of like a Japanese school lunches. Go. Rice, miso soup. Rice, miso soup. And like grilled or something. Some meat or something. Yes. And we uh, actually, Japanese school lunch, we have milk every day. Oh, yeah, that's right. Milk with rice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yuck. Rice with bread works. Rice with milk just makes you sleepy and mm -hmm. feel weird. Mm -hmm. Why milk? Come on. Because I want you to get big and strong. Yeah, How? that's, you know, after World War II, America decided to let Japanese kids to have milk. Isn't and it? American. Yes. And because... Uh, GTQ. GTQ? GTQ. Yes, the... GTQ. Oh, GPQ. GTQ. Yeah. Wait, wait. Yes, them. I forget what they're called. Yes. But anyway, uh, the... Japanese started drinking milk that was actually produced in America in the beginning. And then um, now it's produced mostly in Japan. But yeah, milk is responsible for uh, the height increase of Japanese people, probably. So if you look at uh, populations that drink milk versus populations that don't drink milk, people who drink milk are way taller. So that's yeah. why, you know, these day kids are much taller than the kids from like old days. Yeah, it's true. All right. What's your image of Japanese school? Ah. American school lunch, Hayato. Chimichanga. Chimichanga. Oh, Mexican food. French fries, hot dogs, Chimichanga. pizza. Oh, my favorite. Pizza with some super grease on it. Like, mm. oh my goodness. Yeah. You know, you they they give you like a kitchen paper or like, a, what do you call it? The cooking sheet to give you. That is already wet. Yeah, <laughs> burrito, burrito too. <laughs> He's Whoa. right, guys. It's He's right. so greasy. It's and like, oh you God. and you eat that with chocolate milk. Yeah, chocolate milk. That was good, actually. We had the option, right? Yeah, you had the option. Milk or chocolate milk? Milk, low-fat milk, chocolate milk, and sometimes strawberry milk. Hey, I've never drank strawberry milk. Yeah, it's pretty bad. What about banana milk? I no? don't think so. It probably no? exists, but it wasn't in school lunch. Hey. So where is that from? We're gonna talk about it and look at it. Is that the Chinese? We're gonna talk about it and look at it. Okay, so this is a typical American school lunch. What's the white thing? The mashed, mashed potatoes, potatoes cook and chocolate cookies. Chocolate chicken cookie. My lunch never looked this chicken good. Chicken nugget. Chicken nuggets and some ketchup, and some green peas. That's actually healthier than I thought. You know. <laughs> really? This is way yeah. better than what we get in Hawaii. That's all what we got. Without the cookie, we didn't get the cookie. Seriously, Pee. how many nuggets are there? <laughs> That's a lot of nuggets. Yeah, how do you say Tashkani in indeed? That's right. That's it, right. Yeah. That's like a family pack size right there. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. Let's go. What's the next one? It's from Brazil. Brazil. Can't even identify most of that food. What would you say that is, Josh? I would say that's pork with mixed veggies, black beans and rice, salad, bread, and baked plantains. Good. So you can read it. That's cool. I mean, that that looks healthier than the American one. But does it actually look like this in Brazil? Brazilian people, let us know. Next one. It's beans. Italy. Uh, yeah, it looks healthy. You know what? That kind of, if I had the, like, in, if I had to imagine what an Italian school lunch would look like, like that. It's got grapes, pasta. I think that's fish. Yeah, it looks bread. yummy. I yeah. feel like all of these are exaggerated, though. Yeah, I mean, it's probably less. Yeah, like things. half half of that. Yeah, like one maybe one portion and plus fruit or something. Let's know. go to the next one. This is from Finland. Is that a mm. crepe? That's a crepe. Is that uh, a muffin? Yeah, it looks fancy. Or is that a carrot in the middle? Isn't that like a pumpkin or something? It says pea soup, beet salad, carrot salad, bread, and panak. Kau, panakko. Panakota? No. Not panakko. What's that? What What are both of you guys say right now? It's a dessert pancake. Oh, oh so like a crepe with fresh berries. Mm. It Did, looks good. You know how sometimes in Japanese school lunches you guys get the like the cho choco pande. 
Oh, choco the, palm, choco palm. The chocolate it, bread it, day. It didn't happen when I was in high I mean, You guys school. had. Yeah, our, our student said that recently, right? Like some days all they get for lunch is like a piece of bread, bread with, with chocolate. a chocolate packet uh, that they put the yeah. chocolate on the bread and Aww. that's the only thing they eat with milk. And then mm-hmm. they're all excited about it. But it's then, gross. Like, it's really gross. I'm, I hate I'm sure those it's days. like to save money. Like, yeah. No, I have no idea why they do that, but it's seriously a big piece of bread and you get like a mustard packet, but it's got chocolate in it. Mm, it's and, like a gem, right? Yeah. And then just put the chocolate mm. on the on the bread and eat it and that's lunch i'm like ew yummy no south korea mm. that looks about right for south korea mm. i can't really tell you what any of that stuff is it says fish soup tofu over rice kimchi and fresh veggies mm, so not, like not like many, healthy not a lot of protein yeah tofu you can get protein from it well not a lot True. of like no no real protein yeah maybe no. you know chicken is in there somewhere yeah uh, I guess they eat kimchi every day. Oh. I don't know. I would like to know. Do they eat? Yeah, it's like, you know, we eat natto every day, stuff like that. Like, I mean, in Japan, we eat, what is it? Skemono? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pickled, th- pickled thing. foods. Pickled foods. Yeah. I guess it's France. Wow. Actually, the lunch culture in France is very interesting. They uh, f- uh, lunch is their main meal. Like, look how, how look what how, like, like, like Josh is totally into this right I, now. Yeah. I mean, this. I like this. French food. Like, like he's into the food part. Yeah. Okay. Their their lunches are, I think, two hours long yeah. in France, <laughs> and it's a course. It's not like a one thing. Like seriously, yeah. even in the public school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And like, the, and there's like a lot of different cultures, like in Spain and stuff like that. They eat dinner at like eleven o'clock at night and weird stuff like that. I mean, it's <laughs> every every country is different. I mean, Aww. even this French uh, lunch here. It says they have steak, carrots, green beans, cheese, and fresh fruit. It looks like well, a like what? private school lunch. Maybe it is. Is that a carrot? Oh, it yeah, it's a carrot. Yeah, right here. It looks like the same carrot from the one before. <laughs> right? <laughs> it is. Look, it's the same one. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Keep going. Cheese? Keep going. Who's this? Greece. Greece? That looks... No way. What? Orange. There's so much fruit and vegetables in these. Like, I just don't remember that in my school lunch. It costs a lot, isn't it? H- yeah. How do they get money from? It says baked chicken over orzo, which is some kind of grain, I guess. It's good for kids. They S- never get starving. Stuffed grape leaves. Even they're like, you know, poor, they can get good lunch at school. Yeah, I mean, it. okay. Ukraine, let's see it. Okay. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I imagine. That's about Ukraine. right. Ukraine. Some like sausage over some other how stuff. Do you, that I don't how know. do you read Ukraine? Ukraine. Ukraine. Mm. Mashed potatoes with sausage. That sounds about right. Mm, yeah. B- borscht. 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 Cabbage and cerniki. I'm very sorry, Ukrainian people. Don't hate me. Mm. Yeah. We don't know what this, that stuff is. is that, that's cold slaw, right? Hey, is Ukraine? Cold slaw, not cold. Is cold slaw. Europe? Like Middle Europe, it's I'm like actually like Eurasia be, be, between Asia and Europe. Yeah, wow. it's it's technically Europe, I think, but it's Eurasia. Spain. Spain looks cool. Shrimp. Are you serious? Is this a no school way. ranch? Sautéed shrimp over brown rice with vegetables, gazpacho. Pacho? Gazpacho. It's a cold tomato soup. Yeah, I know. I am talking about. Is that school lunch? Okay. Well, okay. What's the fanciest? Like the most like like highest cost uh school lunch you've ever had in japan we have like buffet lunch once, buffet lunch yeah once in the year what do you do for buffet lunch we can you know choose the food that we want it's like a buffet style isn't there like also like cake day one time a year yeah christmas. for christmas really yeah buffet lunch is for the sixth grade only like like before like graduation day, it's like a spe- yeah uh, special. We have like pizza parties in America, that's cool. but that's like different. That's like if your class is really good, it's like well at something, and then the teacher buys it for you or something. It's not the same thing. Hey, let me talk to you guys about you know school lunch war. Other, you know, I mean, food fight. Food fight. School lunch war. <laughs> <laughs> school lunch war. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I yeah. I was so surprised, you know, when I was at the cafeteria. You know, you know, some kids start fighting, and then somebody yelled like "fight," and this people start throwing food. It was like a movie. Yeah, it does happen. It totally happens. People yeah. throw food at each other. I've never been in a food fight. 
I was in a food fight when we were okay. So my high school had off campus lunch. So we drove our cars to go to get fast food in the drive through. And I was in a food fight while we were driving, like throwing food at the other cars while driving. That sounds very dangerous. It's really stupid. Don't do that at home, guys. It's really stupid. Well, yeah, you can't do it at home if you're in a car. Don't do that, guys. Yeah. Mm, okay, let's You go. tell him. Hayato, have you ever gotten a food fight? Never. Never? Nope. No, I wasn't lucky that I ex- yeah. I've experienced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get any good food, like catch it? No. I ah. was trying to hide myself under the you know, desk. <laughs> Is that elementary school? Yeah, uh, high school. Oh, high school. Was yeah, it American, American high school. Uh, American high school. Was it funny or was it scary for you? Me? Yeah. yeah I was like, it was. It's like a movie. Yeah, exciting. Uh, All right, guys. Now it's time for me to talk to you about your own culture. Let's see how well you guys do this time. We're gonna talk about bento boxes. Okay. How much do you guys think you know about bento boxes? What do you mean? How much do you guys know about bento boxes? Like Japanese. It, dep- it, 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 like it depends. Culture, yeah, it depends on the questions. All right, here we go. Okay. Here's the first question: How old are is the is the concept of bento? How old? Can I say which period? Yeah, sure. <laughs> are you, I I thought you were good. No, no, he was playing with a wire. Oh, okay, I thought you were. I'm trying to look for the answer. Cheating. No. no. Um. I would say uh, Edo. Edo. How I was going to say Edo. How many years ago was the Edo period? You shouldn't ask us about history. I would say... How okay. many years ago was the Edo period? 2,000 years ago. No, the Edo period was recent, more recent than that. Stupid. 16 and 18, so 400 to 200, 350 years ago. Okay. No. So you say Edo. Around there. Okay. Natsuki, you say? Edo. Edo. Mm. Josh, oh, you could read the answers. Uh, I, I, it's not open, but whatever. The correct answer is... Dr-dun. Over 1,000 years ago. Oh, that's a long time ago. Oh. It makes sense though, right? Just like bringing lunch somewhere. Yeah, because uh, people basically what happened was you go to work in the rice fields and you bring a box of rice with you to eat in the rice fields. I said 2,000 years ago, so it's too far. Next question. What is... No, no, I'm going to ask this to Josh because you guys probably know this. What is ekibet? State. Oh, no, okay. dude, I told you not to answer. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's in the name, right? Yeah. Station Bento, okay. Station Lunch. Have you guys ever had Eki Ben? Mm-hmm. What's the, a famous one? There's the Eki Ben Festival at the department store, and then I had the Bento from Hokkaido. Yeah. And then it was squid, steamed rice inside the squid, ikameshi. Oh, that was from Aomori, somewhere north. <laughs> so somewhere north. Was it good? Mm-hmm. That was good. Hayato, what about you? Yeah, I no actually I don't think so. I don't never think... had an eki ben before. Yeah, but no. eki means like station ben means bento station bento. Do you know? Do you know? I know. Do you know I, what I was I, gonna I, say? Yeah, <laughs> don't do it. Okay. Okay, don't do it. All right, say you it. You better don't do it. Say it. Oh you, really? You I brought can't. it up. Say it. It's a. Uh, it's one of the the style oh or position God. of. Romantic relationships. Romantic, yes, that's right. We say. Yeah. Anyway, oh, I don't. Oh, I, think I embarrass I, myself that I could understand that. <laughs> I think I. I think I've gotten this reference. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I don't think I have had Eki Ben. <laughs> Follow up question: How many Eki Ben? How many different kinds of Eki Ben are there in Japan? How many different? Like fifty, a hundred, uh, a million. Every prefecture. Yeah. So 47. Okay. Yeah. Natsuki. Oh, let's make it double. Then 47 times tw- like 2 means 92. I love how you just did the math in Japanese and then translated it to English. <laughs> the actual answer is there are over 6,000. Wow. 6,000 different types of ikiben. 6,000. Next one, what is a hino maru bento? I know. What is it? Rice 
and umeboshi on top. And what is it supposed to be? Frog, a、oh, frog. Of Japan. Japan. Have you guys ever had one? No. Hinomaru bento. Hato, have you ever heard that before? Yeah. Any of you had yeah, yeah, I've had it all the time. All the time. Only like no okazu. Ah. No, no, no main dish, no just main the dish. rice.、Mm-hmm. Ah, just the rice. Yeah, I guess not. Sorry. Okay, last question. We're going to be done talking about bentos. And I hope none of you guys know this because this is the best one. What is a shikai eshi bento box? Can you say that shikai again? Shikai eshi? Shikai eshi. Shikai eshi?、Mm. Shikai eshi bento. Betray you back. What do you guys think this is? How do you say shikaishi in English?、Uh, backstabbing or like. Backstabbing. Betrayal. Betrayal.、Uh, yeah. Shikaishi bento. Shikaishi, shikaishi oh, bento. I know what that means. Oh, what is it? Like you steal the bento from somebody's and then eat them all and then put the, some. No, you know, no, 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 no. That's what my dad did when he was in high Whoa, school. Well, let's talk about what chat, your dad did. What did he do? He steal.、Uh-huh. Stole. The ben- he stole the bento from his friend, eat it. And then put some, you know, rubber, Stuff, rubber toy, stuff, yeah, like snakes or like poop inside, and then put it back. Okay, it's kind of like that, but it's not, it's, I'll give you a hint, it's not amongst friends. Amongst friends? It's not for friends. For boyfriend, girlfriend? M- more, more serious. Wife? Okay. Oh, husband? Husband? Okay. So when, when they had a fight, wife.、Yeah. Wife is like, here's your bento. And then when husband g o to work and it's lunchtime, he opens it. It's like. Oh, it's a love it's message in there, isn't it? No, no, no it's nothing a, inside. It's or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> let me read. This is actually all of this comes from. Let me read it for you. All this comes from foodandwine.com on a lifestyle article about Japanese bento. And about this one, they explain The Shikayashi Bento Box, aka the Revenge Lunchbox, is packed by wives who are angry and might fill the box with things like raw rice, raw egg, or angry messages they write from strips of nori. Ooh, raw eggs. So, like, it's lunchtime and their husbands are all like really, really like hungry at work and they open their bento box and it's just like hard, like uncooked rice and like uncooked eggs. Wow. Wow. It's, it's waste of food. It's, a, it's so funny.、Uh, Hayato, have you ever made your wife angry where she、no、gave you、way. bad food? No. no, no. If I were her, I wouldn't do that. Like, What would you do? Just not make the bento? Yeah, just not make the bento. Yeah. But, anyway. but that's kind of a. That's so funny. Yeah. That's funny. Good. I can imagine that like in a drama TV show.、Mm, like like, the- yeah. You're always talking about the TV drama show and then it's like very old buck, buck time. Do you are are you calling me old? No, no, no. I'm saying that you haven't watched Japanese dramas, TV dramas. Recent? Recent. And what's your point? I have Netflix. I don't need that. Okay. So, I am saying that you know, you remember、uh, that you know, Japanese TV drama that you are talking about is old. What's your favorite type of bento, Natsuki? Go. Mixed fry bento. Do you know what that is? Mixed fry is like, you know, there are many. Vegetables? No, 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 no. Like, you know, shrimp fry and, you know,、oh. fish fry, chicken fry, you know, many kinds of fries are in there. And I like, you know, oil the stuff. Uh, Hayato, Deep fried. Hayato, what's your favorite type of bento? Nori bento. What is a nori bento? Say, my son. I'm sorry. Nori bento. <laughs> Toku kara okazu no mi de. o n e g a i s h i m a s Hot to motto, ne? Ah. So, nori bento, which is usually rice, and then there's a seaweed、uh, covered. Yeah. Covering the rice, and on top of it is usually a chikua, which is fried, fried fish. That's a nori ben. Okay. Nori bento. And also fried、uh, karaage. Yeah, okay. I was going to say that. So, from hoka hoka te or ho- hotomoto, which I don't know which one they are now. The, they both、uh, exist. Yeah. I just go and get no rice. Only karaage, like six piece or whatever it is. Okazu no mi. Just eat the karaage.、Mm. They、yes. have the, such good karaage.、Mm. Josh, you can be the last word today. 
It's your favorite Ben, though. I also really like Naughty Ben. Me too. That's my favorite. Chicken Nambang. Me too. Actually, that's pretty. Yeah, actually, when I first came to Japan, I ate like Naughty Ben, uh, Chicken Nambang, and then uh, Karaage Bento from. Ho- uh, at that time, it was, it was Hoka Hoka Te. All right, guys. It's been today's show. We've been kind of tired today. We've been working on a really interesting project. We talked about this last week. It's going to launch soon. You'll see. It's actually not our project, but it's kind of our project. You'll see. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's show, leave us a comment. Subscribe. We love it when you subscribe. Josh is giving me the thumbs up. No, I'm saying like it. Also, subscribe and then like it and then hit the bell icon and then hit the bell icon again to turn it off, but then turn it back on. So hit it three times. And then leave us a comment saying how you listened to the Bento talk today. And uh, thank you so much. See you guys next time. Bye. bye. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Small Talk Kagoshima. Small Talk Kagoshima is recorded in Kagoshima at Story Studios. This week's episode stars Michi, Natsuki, and Hayato. The audio mixing is done by Hayato. And it's produced by me, Josh, and is executive produced by Michi. This program is brought to you in part by Quantize, Mu FM, Sengayen, and Harada Gakuen. Special thank you to everyone who submitted questions, videos, and pictures. You can submit to our Twitter, at Kago Talk, or our Facebook page, Small Talk Kagoshima. Or you can add us online by searching Kago Talk. If you enjoyed listening to the show, you can subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. Please leave us a review and let us know what you think. Thank you and see you next week. <laughs>